everybody, this is Rick, and in this video, we're going to take a little deeper look at the Kenny Garrett tune, the house that Nat built. We're just going to step back for a second and try to look at its overall structure. Let's give a quick listen to the uh, Kenny Garrett recording. It's from his album, Songbook. boils down to a very simple A section and then an 8 bar B section. So the A section is very simple. It's just a 2 bar riff followed by 2 bars of solo ad lib. And then it repeats. It states the riff and the ad lib again. That's the riff followed by 2 bars of ad lib. In my previous video um, I teach you the notes to this riff. The B section is just a contrasting theme where it gives the music a chance to settle down and basically be a calm before the storm before the A section comes back. So the overall structure of this, of this tune is we've got A a bunch of times, B. And then A a bunch more times, B. And then finally closes out on a bunch of A's. Now the catch is that every time it comes back to the A section theme, it's in a different key. Specifically, it's down a half step. So we can see here, it starts out in an alto key, C sharp minor. And then it does the theme of the bridge when it comes back to the A section, it's in C minor. Does that a bunch of times in the bridge in a correspondingly lower key. Final return to the A section, this time in B minor. So if you haven't done it already, Go ahead and pick up the, uh, go to iTunes or Amazon and download this track. It's called The House That Nat Built. And take your horn and start playing along with it. Uh, as always, I have this uh, notation uploaded as a PDF at my website, which is linked right down there, I believe, if they haven't, if YouTube hasn't moved the links around. Go to my website, click find the download section, and uh, help yourself print as many copies as you need. All right, well, thanks a bunch for watching.